So in this tutorial we'll have a go at modelling a uh, sports bottle like this one. So I'll start from scratch and delete everything in the scene. So the first thing is create a cube and then go into edit mode and then press 3 for face mode. Move that upwards on the Z axis. Uh, come back out of edit mode, press Control 1 to add a subdivision modifier. And then back into edit mode, Control R to add a, a loop, and then Control R again. And one more in the middle, and then move that one to the X axis to give the uh, bottle a bit of curvature. Back out of edit mode, apply that subdivision, and then apply one, uh, create one more, Control 1. And we will now duplicate this. And call the duplicate shrink. Okay, and on the shrink one, we'll give that four divisions and we'll hide that and then select cube one. Back into edit mode, uh, control one for orthographic side view, Z and then wireframe, turn off subdivision briefly, uh, press three for face mode. B for select and then select those faces there and then to select select loops select boundary loop and then control B to bevel that uh, and move the mouse wheel until you get just one subdivision okay and if we come back out of edit mode you can see that that's actually altered the shape of the geometry so we need now to add a shrink wrap and we'll choose to shrink wrap that to the shrink object and then we'll apply the subdivisions and again apply the shrink wrap and then back into edit mode press 2 for edge mode alt left click the middle one G twice to slide that upwards and then we'll create another one here and then slide that downwards and then we'll choose select, select loops, select inner region. And then we'll control minus to uh, lose one. In fact, no, we won't. Control plus to bring that back. And we'll do a alt S to scale that inwards against the normal. Okay, and then we will add a subdivision modifier. And press this button on the end to so you can see it in the edit mode and then we'll press F3 and then shade smooth we come out of edit mode first F3 shade smooth okay and we want to auto smooth and we also want to sharpen those edges up a little bit so we'll just turn that off briefly so select this edge and then select this edge. Oop, not that one. So we've got all the loop around where we've uh, beveled. So control B and then bevel that and give it one subdivision by moving the mouse wheel. And then if we turn the subdivision back on, you can see that we're getting quite a crisp edge now. And just turn that subdivisions up to maybe three. So we can see there we've got the bottle shape. Uh, we probably want to go into edit mode, press 3 and then select these uh, faces. Make sure you've got proportional editing turned on at the top here and then just press G, Z and move the mouse wheel until it affects the surrounding area. There we are and turn off proportional edit mode by pressing O and then we'll straighten that, SZ0, and then we'll extrude that, and then extrude it again, and then we'll control plus, and then SX, bring that inwards, and GX, just to bring that back out, and then we'll select the top ones, and then select the select loops boundary loop I've added that to my favorite but otherwise it's in here select loops 
select boundary loops and now do a control B just to bevel that outwards and then I'll select the inner face there and scale those inwards and then extrude those down maybe to about here and then again and then delete those faces and what we'll do as well in edit mode press number two to get the edge mode SZ0 to straighten that out and then control B and just so we don't want any uh, subdivision so just mouse wheel downwards and then we'll do an alt E to extrude faces along normals and take that inwards something like that and maybe yes, uh, just to bring that up a little bit in fact let's just turn this off temporarily so control plus and then S Z and just change that to the medium point S Z something like that in fact let's undo that so to start again, SZ0, we'll just turn that off as it is already so we can see better what we're doing. So Control b bring that to there, Control e extrude along normals, something like that. Uh, and what we'll do also, number 2, and select that edge loop and that edge loop by holding Alt down and left clicking, Control b and give that a one division. And do the same for the interior ones. Something like that. And now we turn the subdivision back on. We see that that's quite a more harsh of an edge. So that's the main bottle. Uh, but you may want to add additional detail. So what I would do at this point is Shift D, duplicate the bottle, and we'll call this duplicate shrink to. And we'll hide that and then select the cube again so now what we can do is if we go into edit mode we might want to add some ridges for example on this part so if we select edges mode by pressing 2 and then we'll press this one so sh and then sh uh, control left click down here shift left click here control shift left click control left click shift left click control left click and do that all the way around in fact just remove these bottom ones B middle mouse remove like that and then we'll do a control B to bevel those mouse will scroll down so that you only get one um, you don't get you only get two edges and then we'll do alt E to extrude and then extrude those either outwards or inwards, whichever you prefer. And then Control Plus, bring that up. And then Q, select boundary loop. And then I'll just bevel that slightly. Something like that. That's fine. Now if you come out of edit mode, you notice we're getting a little bit of uh, distortion in the shading. Not too much, but just a, a little tiny bit. So what we'll do to get rid of that is add a data transfer modifier. We'll select the shrink to object. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we'll choose face corner data. And what we need to do is, on this object, we need to select all of the model that we want to have the normals corrected on. So that would be uh, everything apart from this part here. So if I select, so interface mode, select that one, shift select that one, shift select this one, shift select that one, that one, that one, and that one. So I want to select all of the interior and the easiest way to do that is select 
and then select uh, linked and then linked flat faces and then you can alter the angle down here if it's not all selected so just scroll that until it's selected all of those and then we'll add those to a face group for easier selection in future so sign those and then what we want to do is control plus uh, oop, control minus just to there and then we'll do control I to select the inverse and then what we want to do is uh, add that to a vertex group so vertex group assign and come back out of there and then if we go into the data transfer modifier we can select that group now and then we can click on custom normals and if you just zoom in here notice this client bumped out custom normals and then change this to uh, nearest face interpolated and then you can see that's perfectly smooth now so if you turn that off you see it's, you've got little, sort of little lumps around there turn it back on and then it's perfectly smooth uh, you may want to go back into edit mode and maybe control minus and then control I and then back into the data panel and just remove those from that group and if you come back out and turn that back on no it, did, it does need to have those so go back in control I control plus back into data assign those back in and then back into the modifier custom normals and then we're getting that as it was before uh, yeah and that's it so uh, hopefully that's helpful any questions let me know in the uh, in the comments thank you